What's up guys? It's Wally. Today we're going to be doing some battles with an Iron Defense Regirock. So even though we've seen a lot of Pokemon in the past use his strategy with the Iron Defense and Body Press, I really feel like it was tailor-made for Regirock. Because Regirock has a base 200 defense. And when you have Body Press which takes your defense stat into consideration as opposed to your attack stat, that's going to be doing a ton of damage even before you go with the Iron Defense. And if you go with Iron Defense even just once, you up your defense by two stages and you're going to be doing double the damage. And yes, I know that that's not going to do anything to Ghost-type Pokemon. However, that's why you also have Rock Slide as well. And that's also going to be a stab move too. And it is extremely beneficial to have a Rock move be a stab move and also have the spread with the potential to flinch. And since we do have Farigraph to be able to set the Trick Room, and since Regirock is not incredibly fast, it's really nice because you'll be able to potentially get some flinches on some faster Pokemon once we put that Trick Room up. So really, again, Regirock's strategy is to go with the Iron Defense, get extremely bulky from a defensive standpoint, and then go for the Body Press to be able to knock out some Pokemon. And the reason why this thing is a Fairy-type Terra, uh, even though I know it is still going to be weak to Steel, it's nice because if you end up going up against something like Chien Pao that has Sacred Sword, you're going to be able to end up resisting that. So if you end up going for the Iron Defense once, twice, or even three times... It's going to be nice because that Sacred Sword, even though it ignores those defense boosts, still not going to do a lot of damage because it's resisted. And then if we went into something like Grass, obviously I'd be a little worried about, you know, something with like Ice moves. But that's part of the reason why we decided to end up going with the Fairy Terra. Now again, we are going to have to worry about Steel moves, but we have Incineroar to take care of that. We have Rillaboom with high horsepower and just an all-around great team around it too. So I'm really excited to see what Regirock can do. Obviously we've used Regigigas in the past, but I've not used any of the Regis yet. So I'm excited to see what Regirock can do. So we'll get into the battles, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just haven't yet, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. Well, let's get into the battles. Oh no, looks like we're going to be starting out with uh, Regirock's Kryptonite here, and that is going to unfortunately be uh, Goldengo down there. So uh, we definitely need to bring Incineroar, I believe. Um, that's going to be an, an extremely important thing here. So um, question is, do we start off with it? That's the main question. And I think my answer is going to be yes. Um, in the back, I'm also going to, or I'm sorry, I'm also going to bring Farigraph as well because that's going to be able to set up the Trick Room. Then, of course, we'll bring Regirock and... And... <laughs> um... Actually, we could probably go Rilla. Rilla does have uh, high horsepower, so that would do um, yeah, that'd do some good damage in the Goldengo too. We just have to worry about. Um, I mean, we're gonna have to worry about uh, Corviknight anyways, to be honest with you. So let's go. Let's go with Rilla. Boom. We just need to make sure that Corviknight's taken out before Rillaboom even goes out there. Because Rillaboom's obviously going to be weak to uh, flying moves. But also, the other thing that we're going to have to worry about, too, is the fact that we don't have anything that's really going to be super effective. It has a 4x resistance to our grass move, and unfortunately, immune to the ground move. So, again, we need to hope that we can take them out. Or just that they didn't make it to the, to the battle. But unfortunately, they did. Um... Oof, yeah, I forget about Mirror Armor, too. Alright, well, not ideal. Not ideal, but we're going to go off with a, a knockoff up there, and we're also going to go with the Trick Room. That's alright. It's not a problem. I know our attack's down, which is unfortunate, but we're going to be okay here. I'll we'll get the bulk up. That's fine. Let's see what we can do with the knockoff. Good stuff. And then we end up getting the... Ooh, it was Metal Coke, too. And then we also get the uh, Trick Room as well. So, all right. Not bad. Not bad. Um, yikes. Um, I feel like I should knock off up there, too. But I also really just want to go for the Flare Blitz. And I also want to take them out as well. Um... But they're probably going to be more important right now, if I'm being completely honest. Let's do that, and let's go with the Dazzling Gleam. Plus, they were going to protect as well. So, we're in a good spot with that. Nice, we'll get... I, I just probably only going to do like an eighth at most, probably. Yeah. And then, now we got the Flare Blitz. Please do some good stuff. Uh, not quite can we get the burn. 
Doesn't look like it. Ooh, and they got the Rocky helmet too. That's gonna be rough. Ooh, and the body press. But thankfully we do survive that. We do get our berry, which is even better. They have... Okay, perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna go with the Flare Blitz over there on this one. And, um... Let's go Psychic Noise up there, too. Okay. So we take out Gold Dango. Thankfully, they didn't get a move off. That, that makes me happy. Um... But now we do still have to deal with them, which is very unfortunate, because they'll probably go for another body press. Not bad damage on a resisted move, actually. Beautiful. Let's go. That, that was actually huge then. That was actually huge. I was going to say, I, I was going to mainly do that if they had lefties, but obviously they didn't have lefties, but thankfully that's going to stop that roost as well. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go for the Flare Blitz up there. And let's still go for the Dazzling Gleam. Let's see if we can get them pretty close to knocked out. Hey, if we get a crit, we're in a good spot. That's not the case. Can we get a burn? Let's go! That is huge! Yeah, they're going to be gone, though. After this one. Rock Slide? Oh, I forgot they had Body Press first. I um, wonder what they're going to go with. Yeah, Rock Slide. Okay. That'll hit. That'll do a good amount of damage. And we're going to be the only one taking damage from that. However, again, they still have the burn. That's really good for us. All right, we're in a good spot. We are in a good spot. Um, let's go with Reggie Rock here. Let's go, Reggie Rock. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We are going to Terrastalize. And we're going to go for the Body Press over there, as well as a Psychic Noise one more time up there. They either go down to a Psychic Noise here, or they just go down to the Burn. So, we're in a good spot. They're going to be taken out, and then now we can just deal with um, Titar. And I think they have one more in the back as well. So, we'll have to deal with whoever's back there, too. That's totally understandable. Who is this, though? Excadrill, I forget about them. Alright. Um, yeah, we're still gonna have to worry about steel moves. Did they have... All no, they didn't. Never mind. I was gonna say, are they mono steel? No, they just had three steel mons to, to bring out here. And it makes sense, too, but... Yeah. I mean, it's the, it's the right call right here, let's be honest. I'm gonna be flying... You bet it is, but we still have the Rock Slide to be able to deal with that. And also, they ended up losing their special defense um, boost from that as well. That's still some good damage, though. I appreciate that. That was a crit. That makes more sense. Psychic Noise. Good damage. All things considered. Knock off. Yeah, there go our lefties, unfortunately. But it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Alright, yeah, we're back to normal now. I think Reggie Rock can can still withstand a lot of this though. I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the body press over there. And let's try to set the trick room back up again. It's possible they think I'm just gonna never mind. Thank you. Let's go. Big survive. Big KO. But it'll be alright, though. It'll be alright, though. We should take them out with a uh, body press. Good stuff. 
Yeah, super effectiveness of that is just tough to deal with. Um, we're still going to be taking some residual here, which is unfortunate, but in all honesty, um, I feel fine with who we have in the back. We still got Rilla. We have the fake out pressure, which is going to be nice. And, and it's still Corviknight. I forgot about that. Hello. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. So they definitely go down here. They definitely go down. Because, again, they are dealing with the burn. I think that's going to take out if they uh, have to deal with that with one more turn. And, again, we still have the fake out pressure, which is really nice. We're also going to go with the rock slide. That'll be good. And, again, let's get that fake out up there. Good. And the rocky helmet, too. Sorry, right, they get the flinch. I couldn't deal with a... Uh, uh-oh. Yeah, that's going to be unfortunate. Um, but, yeah, no, I couldn't deal with a roost there. If we ended up uh, allowing them to roost, game over right there. But, thankfully, now... I mean, yes, we do have to deal with... Uh, ooh, I actually wonder... Okay, it's very possible that they outspeed us. I will say that. Um... Problem is, I don't think that we can actually chance a Grassy Glide, though. I think we go down to a Grassy Glide. I think we have to chance us being faster. And in all honesty, I don't like that chance. But I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, we do go first. And let's go, that is enough. That was a close one in the end. I honestly did not think that we were going to have that. But again, thankfully, we did end up outspeeding them there. And the wood hammer was more than enough to be able to take them out. Uh, I know Reggie Rock uh, again, wasn't out there for long. But man, it picked up a good KO. Did some pretty good damage. Even into a resisted uh, flying T-Tar. And we ended up picking up the victory. So let's go. Good game. Oh man, that right into a Dozo matchup. That is a little rough. I'm not going to lie. But... Still think we're going to be okay here. Uh, we're definitely going to have to put up the Trick Room, though. That's that's going to be the main thing, in all honesty. Um, that's not a big deal. Not a big deal whatsoever. So here's what we're going to end up doing. is I'm actually going to end up starting... Uh, let's start Rilla and Farigarath. And then in the back, let's have Regirock and... Let's go for Alligator, too. For Alligator, not only has the water, but it has the ice as well, and that's going to do really good things into the dragon, the flying dragon. Um, if they end up terrestrializing dragon with, with uh, Dozo, obviously it does stuff to other types, too, but, you know, I just see dragon, potential dragon, another dragon, you know. But let's see what they start out with. Is it going to be the typical, like, uh... Roaring Moon and, uh, and Glamora. I feel like Glamora is going to come out right away no matter what. Like, is it going to be Glamora and Dozo? Is it going to be Glamora and Dragonite? Glamora Pow? Like, I'm not 100% sure here. But we will find out here in just one moment. And there they are. Okay. Not a big deal. Uh, I don't feel like getting poisoned, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to swap into Regirock, because they're just going to protect and then go with a, uh... yeah, they're just going to protect and go with a either Meteor Beam, or they're just going to go with like a Sludge Bomb or something. Well, let's do that. Let's go for the Trick Room. We'll be able to get him Regirock without much issue. And then we'll be able to Terrastalize on the next one. Okay. That's fair. Now, do we see a Terra right away? I would doubt it if they're going to Protect, but... Let's give it a shot. 
They're not going to go for a water move into that slot. Even if they go Earthquake, that's half damage because of the terrain. Um, so I feel like it's a pretty safe swap in. Plus, we have a 200 base defense with more invested in it. You know, I, I feel like we're going to be fine here. And at least we see a Terra right away as well. Into... Man, we should have brought, uh... No wonder why they're not gonna... Oh, no. That's fine. We tank that. We tank that like it's nothing. Their defense is going up, though. And that is not great for us, but... <sighs> Here's the positive thing, though. Here's the positive thing. <laughs> um... Let's go. Let's do that. Let's go Iron Defense. Um, trying to think of what the positive thing would be right here. Uh, let's go for the Psychic Noise. They're probably going to protect on this one, but at least we can get the Psychic Noise into them. Um, and all that good stuff, too. We'll get Iron Defense, which isn't really going to do anything for us in terms of attack. Because we can't go for the Body Press. However, um, at least we're going to be, hopefully, um, yeah, we should be, uh, ignoring their, um, or we should be a little stronger against their physical attacks. I don't think they have um, that one ability where it doesn't, where it ignores the boost and everything. But it's fine. This will make it so they can't go order up either. We we'll get the iron defense. Let's go. Let's see how much damage we can do with the psychic noise. Yeah, it's alright. They won't be able to heal though. That's a positive. Oh wow! Just going straight for the wave crash. Wow, and that just straight up knocks out. They do take a little extra damage from the uh, from the Rocky Helmet, though. All right, let's see what we can do, though. I mean, I will say the positive thing is at least they don't resist grass. So, in all honesty, I think hmm, it might just be smarter to go Rillaboom and go with the Wood Hammer. I think Woodhammer is going to do so much damage. Plus, look how far down they are right now, too. So let's go for the Rock Slide, and let's go for the Woodhammer. Is it going to be a Protect? It is not. Obviously, we miss on one because they're in the mouth of the other. We'll get that. Let's hope we can flinch. Or hopefully it won't matter. No, it's going to matter. Please flinch. That is not a flinch. And unfortunately, we're going to take... A good amount of damage, but not enough to be able to come close to knocking out because our thing is an absolute tank, and they knock themselves out with a residual. Or a recoil, pardon me. Hey, let's go. And we still have a little bit of trick room left. Now we're back up to half. Thank you very much to the terrain and the leftovers. And we are plus two, so that's a big positive thing, so we can always go for the uh, body press now. If we want, you know. Now they can bring in Glamora, though, and that's a little scary, in all honesty. Um, however, they did use their Terra, so we could always just go for a uh, high horsepower over there. Now, I'm sure they have Protect, but um, or Spiky Shield, but still. And you know what? We haven't even seen their fourth Pokemon. Until now, and there is that Dragonite. So let's go for that Rock Slide. Let's go for the Wood Hammer. Oh, that's not good. What do we miss on? Okay, that's fine. As long as they don't have... And they don't. Ooh. Wow. All right, well, we're going to knock ourselves out here, unfortunately. But we should take them with us. We do. Alright, that's fine. Um, yeah, we're going to be okay here. Rillaboom is gone, unfortunately. But we still have our Fairy Regirock. And we also have um, for Alligator in the back, too. Thankfully, for Alligator does not have any weakness to... Um, to either the rock, the ground, or the um, 
poison. That's good. Let's go for the protect. I kind of want to go for the ice punch to be able to just straight up knock them out. So let's do that. Let's take care of them. We'll get Dragonite out of here, and then we'll just have to deal with Glamora. And that's okay. Not a big deal. Oh, even better. Let's go. Oh, I forgot we still have Trick Room up. Well, that's fine, though. Again, we're still going to be uh, two-on-one now as we come out of Trick Room. And even if they have the speed... Ooh, nice. I don't think we even needed the crit, but there we go. Uh, but even though they have the speed, I think they can only hit one. I think their only spread move that they typically carry is Mortal Spin. And that may poison us, but I think we're going to have enough with both the Body Press as well as the Liquidation to be able to pick up the KO right here. Let's see. They're probably going to go Sludge Bomb over into Regirock, though. And all honesty, that may take out. But we do have a little bit invested in the special defense. And still, 100 is nothing to... Well, never mind. We don't have to worry about that. And we end up taking them out with one liquidation. Thankfully, we did outspeed them once we came out of Trick Room. And there we go. So, yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. But let's go. Regirock hanging in there for pretty much all of that battle. Despite the fact... That it really wasn't able to use the body press over on Dozo, but still, the uh, the rock slides and everything else that we ended up using was able to kind of take it out. And thankfully, we had Trick Room up too. So there we go, good game. Oh now, looks like we got a Tropius sighting here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. But unfortunately, another Goldengo. That is not what we want to see. However, I think we're going to be all right regardless. Let's end up starting out with um, Incineroar, and let's go for Rigoraf as well. Um, Honestly, we have more Trick Room Mons than they do, I believe. So, I think we'll try to set that up for sure. So, let's go with them. And then in the back. And all honestly, I think it's going to have to be Rillaboom. Uh, I kind of want to go for Alligator again, to be honest with you. But... Again, in all honesty, I think Rillaboom is going to be the better bring. I mean, honestly, the, the Miracle Seed Wood Hammer on the grassy terrain it, it does insane damage. It doesn't matter if it's resisted. It's still going to do some good stuff. And, of course, we have high horsepower to be able to take care of the steel, the fire, uh, and, of course, the uh, electric on uh, Iron Hands. I mean, yes, we are missing out on the Ice Punch from Feraligator, which would be really great in Atropius, but... Do they even bring Tropius? That's the question. But we're about to find out right now. Let's see who they end up starting. Now, honestly, I'm a little worried to see who they ended up uh, starting with here. Well, let's see. Well, they did bring Tropius, and they did bring them to... Uh, not necessarily ideal, but we're going to be all right here, because here's what we're going to do. They may protect, but either way, let's go for the knockoff over there, and let's go for that Trick Room. I have faith that we're going to be able to survive whatever they throw at us right here with Furry Giraffe. So, um... But let's see what they do here. I would imagine they're going to Terrastalize with Golden Go. Potentially into Fairy? Yeah, for the most part, I've been seeing, like, Fairy and Dragon... And I guess there's still a couple that are like water and stuff like that too, but for the most part, it really has been those two. It's alright, I understand. I, I would be... I would be questioning what I'm doing here too. Nice! That's a good protect for us. We get the specs. Uh oh 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 that's rough we're gonna knock off the uh the rocky helmet at least though that's fair now we're gonna have to swap out that was a really smart call on their part 
Really smart call. Alright, so let's go for the Flare Blitz, and let's swap... Honestly, I'm gonna go into Regirock. I'm gonna go into Regirock. I want this thing to see the battlefield. And we're gonna take uh, out Goldengo before... Um, before they're able to go with the steel move, if they stay in and don't... Well, they won't have Protect because they were Choice Scarf. So I would imagine it's... Um, would that be Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, obviously Trick, and then it's either going to be Power Gem or Thunderbolt. I would imagine Power Gem, though. Our Scarfed for Rigoraf. That's going to be fun later on, though, I will say. It's going to be a lot of fun later on. Yeah, but they end up removing them, which is totally understandable. Into the Reluctant. Oof. Well, that's a scary one. Alright, what are you terrestrializing into? Into Normal! That's gonna be great for our body press. <laughs> Let's go. Good damage. Can we get the burn? We cannot, but that's okay. Still happy with that. Let's uh, swap into Ferrigarev here, because I don't want to get faked out. So let's do that. I'm going to go for an Iron Defense. And then we're going to be able to go with a um, um, Psychic Noise. And we'll be good. Despite the fact that we have Choice Scarf on, uh, on Ferrigarath now, I feel like we're in a good spot. I feel like we're in a good spot. Perfect. Yeah, they're going to call that, but they're going to go for the, uh, probably the Drain Punch. Um, possibly over there, in all honesty, so they could try to knock out Incineroar. Ooh, EQ! Honestly, wasn't expecting that. But let's go. Not much damage. That is what I'm talking about. So, let's go for the Psychic Noise, and let's go for that Body Press over there. And let's see what we can do. Yes, we are now choiced into Psychic Noise. No, we are not going to go early on in this battle, but we're still going to get a Psychic Noise over there, and that'll be good um, to prevent any kind of healing, too. And if they have Drain Punch, no more Drain Punch. However, it doesn't look like they're going to be Drain Punching. Um, well, maybe for a giraffe because of the neutrality to it. But, either way. That's fine. Ooh, into Cresselia. Well, that's good because no more Lunar Blessing. Well, I shouldn't say no more Lunar Blessing. But no Lunar Blessing for them. That's not ideal. I can't believe they undersped. But at least we knocked them out in one... Let's go. So long, buddy. Let's go. Not bad. Not bad. Good job, good job. Let's take that take that health back. We're all the way back up to full. Alright, now they're gonna bring out hands again. That's my question. Or are they going to bring out their fourth Mon? The Reluctant yet again. Hello, buddy. One more. I hate to swap out, but I think I'm going to have to swap out here. I bet you they read this, but I'm still going to swap into there. That way we can get the Intimidate. Um, and if they survive, we can always go for a knockoff onto Cresselia. So I hate to lose our Iron Defense boost, but in all honesty, it did its job, and we can always put that back up if we go back out again. Either way, I like this Psychic Noise going into, um, into hands, though. Yeah, and again, I bet you they end up calling that swap in right there, and they'll go for a Drain Punch. <laughs> oh, maybe not! Let's go! Alright, and we definitely, 
definitely tank that thanks to the um, thanks to the intimidate. All right, here's what we do now. Yeah, we are back to normal, but Farigarath is pretty damn fast now, so I, I love that. So let's do that. I should go for a fake out, but we're gonna go for a uh, knockoff over to Cresselia. And let's see what we can do here. Cresselia may go down to about half. Do half. Good damage right there, actually. And no Drain Punch now, either. They can go Lunar Blessing, though. But that'll be alright. Yeah, they go back up. Or they don't, because I forgot the, the Psychic Noise made it so that they couldn't. And we knock off the Rocky Helmets. We get our health back because of the Berry. And now we should be able to withstand a Wild Charge. Never mind. We stopped that Drain Punch. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so here's what we're going to end up doing. Let's do that over there one more time. And I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz over there. Just in case they go for another ally switch. Kind of want to cover our bases here. Let's see what you do. They do, but again, we are going to have a Flare Blitz going over there, and that's going to do some good damage. And they're prevented from healing for the next two turns. Come on, give me enough on this Flare Blitz. Oh, so close! And no burn either, so that's rough. Ooh, that Earthquake, though. That's fair. It's good stuff. Fine. We got the psychic noise over there one more time. No, I'm. Mm. Let's swap into Reggie Rock. Let's swap into Reggie Rock. Honestly, probably should go with uh, with Rillaboom here. That way we get a fake out pressure, we'll priority, and we'll also have a really strong wood hammer too. However, this is a Regirock video, man. You think I'm not going to bring that thing? Come on now. Come on now. It doesn't matter. We take them out anyways. There we go. We outspeed. Um, I wonder what they end up going with here, though. Ooh, just a Dazzling Gleam. Fair enough. All right, now we have to deal with uh, Goldie, though. Um, and we're gonna have to go with a rock slide, man. That's really unfortunate, but let's let's do our best here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. It probably shouldn't end up KOing them, though. That's the downside. But we're again, we're going to give it a shot. And let's see what we can do. Yeah. But Reggie Rock hangs in there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was hoping for a graph was going to outspeed, but nope. Yeah, of course. And let's get that Rock Slide in. Oh, that's right. It doesn't affect them. Oh, I forget about that. Oh, that's awesome. Good stuff. In all honesty, I think a Grassy Glide's going to take them out. We can also go with them, but honestly, Rillaboom's going to have the priority. And in all honesty, that's what I care about the most right now. But do they go for an ally switch? That's the question. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to call that ally switch. 
We're going to go for the grassy glide over there, but we're also going to protect and make sure that we're going to be okay. Come on. Show me that ally switch. Well, that's on me then. My bad. That's alright. Rilla tanks that. Yep, but thankfully, again, it doesn't affect Goldie, so I'm pretty happy with that. So here's what we're going to do on this next one. Because we know Rilla can survive. Uh, a good as gold. Or a good as gold. A, um, a make it rain. So here's what we're going to do. Just go for the wood hammer over there. And let's go for the rock slide. That's fine. Yeah, we get knocked out, but Rillaboom hangs in there, and that's the important thing. Because Rillaboom is going to be paramount in winning this matchup right here. That's fine. We're probably going to take a Dazzling Gleam as well, or a Lunar Blessing, I guess. But we knock them out, and then it's going to be two on one. Nice. Okay. Fine. Yeah, Lunar Blessing again, that's fair. Rillaboom keeps healing. And now we got them. Now we can go for a fake out and a uh, and a wood hammer. And then if we can do enough damage, maybe we can go for the grassy glide then. So let's go wood hammer. And let's go fake out. As long as they don't have protect, we're good. Typically I don't see protect on them, but. That's not to say someone didn't do it, right? We've all seen some pretty different sets before. So, again, you never know here. We just got to hope that we can actually pick this up. We know they don't have Covert Cloak because we knocked off the Rocky Helmet. Good. Decent damage. Now, come on. Come on, Miracle Seed. Let's go. Grassy Glide will take it out then. Let's go. And we take a little extra healing... And let's finish it off with that Grassy Glide. And a Flare Blitz as well, for good measure. And I think we end up taking this game now. Yeah, again, man. Honestly, Goldengo is really the kryptonite for this Regirock. Because, again, if you end up Terrascalizing, you still end up being weak to steel. So, again, that's something you really have to take out. And that's why, thankfully, having something like Incineroar is going to be a big help to be able to do that. And thankfully, as you saw right there, we ended up coming out with the win. Good game. So as you guys can see, man, Regirock is such a tank, especially against those physical attackers. And having a 200 base defense stat and being able to have access to iron defense and body press almost seems like a cheat code sometime. And of course, they only have like, I think it's a 50 base speed, but even so, man, you set that trick room up, you end up getting an iron defense up, and you have things that are either neutral or weak to fighting, and yeah, you're going to be taking a lot of things out. And then, of course, having Stab Rock Slide is really great, too. And like I mentioned earlier as well, Goldengo is really the biggest threat to Regirock. But really, I wanted this thing to be able to really kind of tank things from Chi and Pao. Because especially having that Sacred Sword, again, if we end up going Iron Defense, it's going to ignore all that stuff. So we want to make sure that we had something that was going to resist it. And also be able to, obviously, like, resist the Dark Move. And be neutral to something like ice. And of course, Regirock with its bulk is going to be able to survive a lot of those hits anyways. But again, you guys saw how great this Pokemon is. Uh, we might try some of the other Regis as well. So if you guys are interested, you guys definitely let me know down in the comments. And maybe we can do something with Regice and Registeel as well. But honestly, I really like Regirock. That 200 base defense is something that I just couldn't pass up. And you guys saw how effective that was here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the battles. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you guys next time.